you welcome to session number 2 of the module number 4 uh, theories of failure so in the previous session we discussed about the theories of failure we looked at the maximum principal stress theory and the maximum shear stress theory so in this session we will try to apply these theories the equations to predict the failure of the different components and we try to compare the properties of the materials with respect to the applied or the the loads actual loads or stresses induced in the materials when they are performing or when they are in applications so we'll try to solve some problems and uh, try to understand how these theories are used to predict the failure of the materials and also to design uh, different components uh, using different materials and uh, using their properties mechanical properties so we have one simple problem here wherein a machine element is subjected uh, to the stresses and the stresses are given here so this is sigma x that is the normal stress in x direction is 60 megapascal and the normal stress in y direction it is 45 megapascal and we have the shear stress tau xy which is 30 megapascal so we are required to find out the factor of safety uh, for this machine element which is made up of steel that is particularly c45 steel which is having an yield strength of 353 megapascal so as we see that different materials will have different yield strength as obtained from the tensile test so we will be applying these two theories to find out the factor of safety so as we have seen the principal stresses the different theories they try to establish relationship with respect to the factor of safety in the previous session so we will apply these two theories and uh, try to understand and try to get the unknown values so in this problem it is factor of safety which has to be determined with the given data here so we can see here first we'll apply the maximum principal stress theory or rankine's theory so according to this theory first you have to find out the the maximum principal stress so to find out the maximum principal stress for biaxial or triaxial set of stress so in this case it is biaxial set of stress so when the biaxial set of stress is given we make use of that the principal stress equation sigma 1 so this sigma 1 or sigma 2 we can get it by this formula so it is 1 by 2 sigma x plus sigma y by plus root of this equation so we all know this equation so directly we will find out we will put this maximum principal stress equation and we will substitute the values so the sigma x is already given 60 megapascal sigma y is 45 megapascal and here the shear stress is 30 megapascal so by using this equation we can directly find out the principal stress so it is 83.42 megapascal so this stress should be 
less than or equal to the yield strength of that material divided by factor of safety according to this maximum principal stress theory this sigma 1 or the permissible design stress should be equal to yield strength divided by factor of safety so we want the factor of safety here so we that will be equated to sigma yield strength divided by sigma 1 which is equal to the uh, permissible stress so using this equation we just substitute the yield strength of the material so yield strength of the material is given which is obtained by tensile test it is 353 megapascal divided by the the principal stress so using this relationship between the permissible design stress which is equal to the principal stress and using this yield strength and factor of safety we get the factor of safety as 4.23 similarly you can apply the maximum shear stress theory so the maximum shear stress theory for that we have to first find out the maximum shear stress so again using this equation so this equation this part of the equation will give you give us the the maximum shear strength shear stress uh, for this biaxial state of stress which is applied on the machine element here so for this biaxial state of stress the maximum shear stress or tau max so this is actually tau max it will be equal to this part of the equation here so it is half root of this thing so again all the values are given here just substitute that we will get this equation here so here actually tau max as we discussed in the previous session tau max will be equal to sigma half of the yield strength of the material so tau max will be equal to sigma by 2 so using this substituting here we get the normal stress as this one and when you substitute the values here we get the the permissible or design stress which is equal to the the principal stress normal stress and uh, that is again equal to the maximum shear stress so we get 61.85 megapascal so again using this equation for factor of safety so factor of safety is nothing but yield strength of the material divided by the design strength or allowable stress in the material so using putting this equation we get the factor of safety as 5.71 so similarly we have one more problem here and it is a here it is melt shaft melt steel shaft having yield strength 232 megapascal and again it is subjected to the biaxial state of stress with sigma x 120 megapascal sigma y minus 60 megapascal and it is this sigma y is compressive sigma x is tensile stress here and the shear stress is 36 megapascal so again we have to find out the factor of safety so we will use the same equation what I used in the previous problem so coming to the first theory maximum principal stress theory we will find out the principal stress sigma 1 so this sigma 1 is given by this equation here and when you substitute the value sigma x sigma y and tau xy here so you should be careful here sigma y is negative is compressive while calculating and when you calculate that we will get 
the principal stress as 126.9 megapascal so again factor of safety is nothing but heat strength of the material divided by the permissible or allowable stress and that allowable stress we are taking it as the maximum principal stress so we can get the factor of safety here similarly with respect to gas theory or the maximum shear stress theory we have the equation you know this the tau max tau max will be equal to this part of the equation so here again we know the tau max is half of the normal stress in tension so when you substitute that tau max is equal to sigma by 2 we get the values of sigma that is normal stress as 193.8 megapascal so again here it is factor of safety will be uh, this normal stress that is yield strength of the material by the normal principal stress here so we get factor of safety as 1.197 so the problem number 1 and 2 are similar so we should know how to find out the maximum principal stress and we should know how to find out the maximum shear stress and we should remember this equation for factor of safety so in this problem uh, he has asked about one minus theory of failure so since it's not there in your syllabus you can just ignore this We have one more problem here wherein the machine member or component is subjected to again biaxial set of stress sigma x and tau xy. So here sigma y is not given that is the stress in y direction is not given we take it as zero here. So here he has not asked about the factor of safety but instead he is asking you to find out the equivalent stress that is sigma e with respect to maximum principal stress and maximum shear stress theory. So again it is very simple so equivalent stress is again nothing but the principal stress with respect to uh, these two these two theories so coming to maximum normal stress theory put the formula here so sigma x sigma y is 0 so we get the maximum principal stress sigma 1 so this sigma 1 is nothing but the it is the uh, deciding or the criteria for the predicting the failure of the material so this sigma 1 should be less than the yield strength of the material so that's thus this sigma 1 becomes the equivalent stress in this formula here similarly for maximum shear stress uh, we know that tau max is half of this and again tau max is equal to half of sigma equivalence or sigma 1 so directly you can put this formula and we can substitute the values and we get equivalent stress normal stress as 157 megapascal with respect to maximum shear stress theory So this problem it is a bit different from the other problems previous problems wherein uh, we have a rod which is subjected to a different kinds of loading so here you can see that a rod is subjected to bending moment and also a turning moment or a twisting moment torsion 
so we have bending moment and the twisting moment torque on this rod and uh, we have to find out diameter of the rod making use of this normal stress theory and uh, shear stress theory and also the normal yield stress is given as 120 mega pascal and factor of safety is also given 3 so this normal yield stress is nothing but yield strength of the material it is given here factor of safety is given here and uh, the bending moment is given as 3 kilo newton meter so we will convert that into newton millimeter and twisting moment is given as 1.8 kilo newton meter so to keep the uniformity uh, you are maintaining uniform units here so the allowable stress is again is given by yield strength by factor of safety so directly you can find out the allowable stress because the factor of safety is given and the yield strength of the metal is given so directly you can find out the allowable stress so we'll, the allowable stress sigma or the equivalent stress is 140 mega pascal so in bending stress since the bending moment is given we can find out the bending stress here so the bending stress for that rod is given by bending moment into d by 2 half of the diameter of the rod by the moment of inertia so for circular cross section so it's a rod of diameter so it is circular so the moment of inertia the formula will be pi d to the power 4 by 64 and c is nothing but half of the diameter of the rod d by 2 and bending moment is given so you can find out the bending stress using this bending equation sigma by c is equal to mb by i so this is the bending equation so using this bending equation bending stress sigma can be found out and uh, when you substitute the values here we get the the value of d is unknown so that is kept as it is so this sigma is in kept in terms of the diameter of the rod which is unknown so this normal stress or the bending stress it is taken as the sigma x in case of biaxial set of stress similarly since the torque is given we will apply the torque equation here torsion equation where tau by r is equal to t by j so t is nothing but moment here torque here turning moment mt or torque t so mt torque is given so r is nothing but the radius of the rod here d by 2 and j is polar moment of inertia and for the circular cross section we know that polar moment of inertia is equal to pi e to the power 4 by 32 so if we simplify this we can write the shear stress in the rod in terms of diameter d so that becomes the, the shear stress tau xy in the case of biaxial set of stress so here uh, this sigma y will be 0 because uh, the stress acting in y direction is taken as 0 here so sigma y will be 0 and sigma x will be this part of the equation so we have sigma x and tau xy sigma x is obtained from the bending stress tau xy is obtained from the the torsion 
equation or the shear stress. Excuse me. So once we know sigma x, there is a by x rate of stress, we can directly go to the maximum principal stress theory and we will apply this equation. And already this equivalent stress or sigma 1 is obtained. So we just substitute the values. So what is unknown here is the value of D. So just calculate the value of D and we will get 61.8 millimeter. We are going to maximum shear stress theory again apply the equation and uh, we already know this equivalent normal stress which is nothing but maximum shear stress so we take that and substitute the values and we get the value of d so here uh, we get different values of diameter d with respect to uh, different theories so for safer design we take the higher value of d so the value of d is 63.3 which is higher here that is taken and that is rounded off to 64 millimeter So we have one more problem where a bolt is subjected to tensile load of 18 kN and a shear load of 12 kN. So here the load is given and you have to convert by this load you have to calculate the stress tensile stress and the shear stress and the metal of the bolt is having yield strength of 28.6 megapascal and factor of safety is given and again we have to find out the diameter of the bolt it is just similar to the previous problem but here uh, the force in tensile and the shear is given so once the forces are given you can easily calculate the stresses by dividing the the force by the area so in this problem first we will find out the tensile stress sigma which is nothing but force by area so this force for tensile stress the force will be tensile force which is given here tensile load is given here divided by the area of that bolt which is circular cross section so in this area we will we'll get the diameter so tensile stress is force by area force is given area is unknown because the diameter is not known so just will keep it as a now for time being similarly shear stress is nothing but shear force by shear area so in this case uh, we get the shear force is given here and divided by the area so this tensile stress sigma will take it as sigma x in the case of bi axial set of stress and the shear stress tau will become tau xy So coming to maximum principal stress theory again we use the same equation you have to remember this equation substitute the values sigma x sigma y 
and here the permissible stress or the principal stress is given as 131 so before uh, before we substitute these values we should find out the permissible stress since that factor of safety is given here the factor of safety is given 2.5 and the yield strength is given so we can find out the the permissible stress or the normal stress it is 131 so in this equation substitute this permissible stress and substitute the value of sigma x and tau xy and we are left with a so a will get it as 182.59 and the, the formula for area of the cross section circular cross section of the bolt is pi d to the power pi d square by 4 so we get d as 15.25 mm So again using the maximum shear stress theory so in that case we get this formula so the tau max is equivalent to sigma e here which is obtained from this equation so equation this equation reduces to this equation here in case of maximum shear stress theory so permissible stress uh, which is equivalent to tau max is obtained here is 131 megapascal and uh, when you calculate that after the values and you will get the area 228.24 and again it is pi d to the power of 4 by pi d square by 4 we get the diameter uh, in meters and that you have to convert to 17 in millimeters so you get diameter as 17.05 millimeter again we will take the maximum of the these two diameters while designing so here again we have one more problem wherein we have a steel rod with the yield strength of 309 megapascal and diameter of the rod is given here and it is subjected to bending moment of 3 kN meter and also the torque T so here diameter of the rod is given and the torque is not given so that is the problem here so we should uh, factor of safety is given and the torque T has to be found out here so again we use the both the theories normal stress theory and shear stress theory so as usual uh, we will first we will find out the permissible stress which is used in these two equations so we get uh, the permissible stress as 123 megapascal so bending moment is given and bending stress you can calculate which is equal to sigma x as you saw in the previous case and substituting the values we get the bending stress sigma x and uh, using torsion equation tau by r is equal to t by j so mt or torque t all are same so using this equation t is unknown so we get the equation shear stress in terms of torque t so tau or tau xy is equal to in terms of torque t so sigma y will be 0 is not given so we have directly go to the maximum normal stress theory you will put the equation here so this is the equation for normal stress theory so we know all the values sigma 1 or the permissible stress sigma x is known and the shear stress is in terms of t here so just find out solve this equation calculate the equation we will get torque t that's so much 
Similarly, if you apply the maximum shear stress theory, the equation, you know this equation. So it is tau E will be 0 0.5 half of this sigma E. So equate that and we get the value of T torque here. Again we take the maximum torque for the designing here. Here we have a different problem where the principal stresses are given and the yield strength of the metal is given and we have to find out the factor of safety. So as we have seen in the uh, theories statements that in case of shear stress, maximum shear stress, and the shear stress is related to the principal stresses. So in normal, in case of maximum normal stress theory or principal stress theory, sigma 1 is equal to sigma e, we know that. So directly you can find out the factor of safety in case of normal stress theory. Factor of safety is nothing but again the yield strength of the material divided by the permissible stress. So in case of normal stress theory, permissible stress will be, should be equal to the principal stress. So principal stress is given here. So it is 40 megapascal. So just use this equation, we will directly get the factor of safety in case of normal stress theory. Because sigma 1 is the maximum, sigma 1 is the maximum principal stress or the maximum normal stress. When it comes to the shear stress, maximum shear stress theory, uh, we have to relate the maximum shear stresses to the principal stresses. So we know that the maximum shear stress uh, with respect to the principal stresses we have this equation. So in case of the shear stress with respect to principal stresses 1 and 2, tau and 2 is equal to difference of sigma 1 and 2 divided by 2. Similarly we will take the maximum shear stress with respect to second and third principal stress. So we get tau 2 3 and we have one more combination that is tau 1 3. So first we have to find out all the maximum shear stresses and out of these three which one is maximum that is taken as tau max for the maximum shear stress theory with respect to the principal stresses. So using this first we find out the shear stresses with respect to the principal stresses and which one is higher that is taken as tau max. So in this case tau max is 210 megapascal tau 1 3 so that is taken as the permissible or equivalent maximum shear stress. So this tau E, we know that it is sigma by 2. So factor of safety is given by E strength by 2 tau max. So this tau E equivalent will be equal to tau max here.
with this tau max will be equal to sigma by 2 into factor of safety. So you get factor of safety as 1.4. So we have second case, one more case where the principal risks are given. So in the previous problem, principal stresses were given like this. In the next problem, we have the principal stresses with negative and zero. So here coming to maximum normal stress theory sigma 1 is 0 and when you take the tensile stress as 0 so it's factor of safety divided by this factor of safety is nothing but yield strength divided by 0 here that is the sigma 1 we get infinity but actually this case in this case the material the triaxial set of stress is compressive in nature so in compression we take the maximum stress sigma 1 here which is nothing but sigma 3 in compression so we get factor of safety as 1.4 for maximum shear stress theory we calculate again the different shear stresses with respect to the principal stresses sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3. So here again we get 210 as the maximum principal stress. So this tau max is taken here with factor of safety. So that is permissible stress is 2 times tau max. So factor of safety is sigma that is yield strength by 2 times tau max. So we get again 1.4 as factor of safety. Okay, thank you.